Hey guys, myself Rakesh and I welcome you back to another UiPath tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how can you save Excel file as PDF. So there is a direct activity available known as save Excel file as PDF. Okay, there is a direct file of activity available, but there will be so many questions you might get. So questions like if there are multiple rows and columns, for example, you have got 100 columns, 100 rows, how would that print? If there are multiple sheets, so how it's going to print? Can I decide to print from us? You know, can I decide from where it should start and where to end? Okay, start page and end page. So all of these questions, we will get an answer in this video. So let's get started. Okay, as like any other Excel file, you have to start using them inside the Excel card or the Excel scope. So for that, we'll be using the Excel process scope. And within the Excel process scope, you should use the use Excel file activity and point it to the Excel file available on your system. Okay, so I have a very blank Excel file. I'm going to work on it. Now, I'll be using the save Excel file as PDF within the do block. Fine. Now the first thing I have to do. So this use Excel file will going to supply this test one dot XLSX file. This is the input file to this activity automatically because it is within the do block of this activity. Okay. Now the first thing I should do, keep the mouse, click on the plus sign and select excel that means it's saying i need to work on the excel i need to convert it to pdf so i'm selecting excel okay now the second thing save as file what is the file name you want to provide so these are the very basic information which is asking you test one dot it will be converting itself to pdf so you will say test one and save so what what is happening automatically the dot pdf extension will be added because the purpose of the activity is for that okay now there are a couple of things on the right hand side but before we explore all these options first thing we should do this is a blank excel file let's write something let's say i'm going to write one two and i'm going to highlight this i'm going to drag few numbers okay i'm going to drag few numbers and then We'll try to see what you know how this is getting printed out. Okay, so let's save it and then let's go to our UiPath Studio and run it. Now, just tell me how the output will come. So, there are so many blank cells, there are so many things. So, how the PDF would appear? Very simple, we will start. Okay, <clears throat> now let's see how the output is appearing. So, it's done. Let's go to the projects tab because I'm I'm saving this path is from the project folder only. Okay, so now if you open the test one dot PDF, let's see how the PDF is being printed. So you can see only the numbers has been printed and how many pages are there? Only one page. So it does not consider. So so look at this. It has printed till 17 and there are a couple of blank space. So generally how the pdf is getting printed so it will see what is the because a pdf or the a4 size right it has a fixed size and depending on that size so you can see till 47 so if i increase the rows of it it, it will again decrease so it has decreased so it depends depending on that specific size how many number of rows and how many number of columns could come it will come that's all if the if this column is bigger, then it is going to shift. Only it is going to print till I. If you make this H bigger, it will only print till G. Look at this. So all these changes will automatically happen because the PDF size is fixed. PDF size is fixed. Okay. So this we one we have saw. What if I am going to make it, you know, I am going to put so many numbers. Okay. Let's say it has got some 300 data number of rows. And similar way, what you do, just write one, two, select it, and let's drag it to so many columns. Now tell me how the PDF will be printed. Let's save it, okay? So now tell me how the PDF will be printed. So let's see that. So let's run it. 
before you run try to close the open pdf okay so now you have got multiple rows multiple columns okay so let's see so how do you think it will can you imagine something mm -hmm. so let's open it so look at it so what happened if you look at the excel it has printed till 9 so this is fitting for the first page so it has printed until here right until 45 if you go back to the pdf see till what number it has printed in the first page till 45 so how many pages are there 46 pages are there if you look at and then in the second page it has printed 46 so the columns has already been printed on the top so if there are so many data then it is going to print all of it because i did not put all the data in the rows so it has printed the top right and then it is printing the column so all the numbers that we had it is printing all of them now how about how about if you look at there are also columns after 9 right after 9 you have another set of data so where it got printed so let's scroll down it is printing all the rows now because there are no data in the rows it is blank that's fine but see after printing all the 382 if you scroll if you go to the next page the next page it has printed 10 11 12 13 14 17. okay so what is happening it is printing all the this is the first page and it it's keep going down down so in this till a to i it is printing all the pages going down 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 until the numbers are there then it is moving to the second you can say this is the first phase second phase then it is moving to the second phase and it is going to print all these numbers is going to print down 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 because rows are blank that's why it is coming blank pages otherwise you can imagine right if there are some data over here all of this should have got printed so you understood this right how the multi page is getting printed all right now the second question i would have for you if i'm going to create another sheet there are two sheets so here i'm going to add some alphabets let's say a b c and d okay i have added some alphabets now what's going to happen tell me if you run it what would happen so now the test one dot pdf that we have so it's going to print both sheet one and sheet two all the things will be printed So let's open the PDF. So all this kind of a small small experiments. So how many pages it has become from 46 to 47 it has become. So at the end the last page would be your ABC. Do you, do you see this? So it is printing. It is finishing the sheet 1 and sheet 2. Okay. Now there are a couple of properties we should see. Okay. What are the properties we have for this activity? We have something called end page, start page and all that so let me tell you let's say uh, i want to so there are how many pages it, it has printed 47 pages so i don't want 47 let's say i want to print only three pages let's say so i can decide how many pages i want three pages okay mm -hmm. so let's run it before you run let's close the pdf and run it so what would happen this time i i am expecting only three pages okay so that property is for how many pages you need end page where you want to end that is the meaning okay so it has printed let's open it so now how many pages three pages correct one two and three three pages now let's say i don't want the or i wanted to decide uh to print from the second page to third page or something like that right in such a case what you do go to the this one and here you can decide start page let's say i want to print from second to third or one to third or one to two or three to four whatever the combination is okay you can decide start and end so two to third now if i print if i if i'm going to run let's close it quickly this page won't come okay 
so this kind of a experiment if you do you understand how exactly it works so it does not have so much of flexibility because you know pdf is a fixed thing so i want to print only that specific cell and all that so it does not have though that much amount of flexibility because it's a pdf so now let's see so don't get get into complex thinking but keep it simple okay so it is it has printed the second and it has printed the third page okay first page has been skipped so this much of understanding should be good enough for you to deal with any kind of a um, pdf conversion uh, activity in your project okay so thank you guys for watching it we are going to come up again in the uh, next video with so, so many interesting contents thank you guys keep watching and do revise do not just read do not just do revise what you have learned maintain a separate book keep on writing what you have learned every day keep on revising all those things okay revision is what makes anyone powerful in terms of knowledge okay revising it so you need to revise things that you have learned so thank you guys for watching we will come up with again with more interesting contents take care bye bye